Hey everybody, what is happening? This is Ace here, and I'm back with another video inside Roblox Studio. We're today for our traffic light tutorial. We're, we're gonna make um, two different kinds of traffic lights. We are gonna make this uh, one one full traffic light right here, where um, where like it doesn't matter like any what kind of what you're doing, where um, where we can have small lights and large lights, basically set it basically set into one system. And here, this is kind of a weird traffic light that I found on, on Google once, but um, but this traffic light is like where it's like a left and straight with just a single yellow light in the middle. So today, this this is going to potentially be a quick tutorial, and and we're going to do like like multiple variations of these, just, just so you have a basic idea on like on like what it looks like. And we're also going to work on this, and this is all going to be set up in one intersection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So. I'm going to delete this just just so we can just start with the basic new intersection. Just not, nothing to worry about. So I so I'm doing this in a four-way because I mean it seems it's easier to just basically predict on what's going on. Um, you're going to you're going to set up into split phasing, just so that these traffic lights can specifically work for this kind of setup. The um, the small and large lights it doesn't matter for which direction, but but the light with with the single ball. If you're not doing like like any coding like within the script, then you're going to do it in directions three and four. When it comes down to the um, uh, just doing it on, on a simpler side, which is what I'm doing for this video, I'm, I'm just trying to make this all simple, just so that y'all can be like, oh, I want to do this, and now y'all can easily do it. So here you have your pull set up. Just basically just get that set up and ready to go. Um, I'm actually going to move this pull back just a little bit, um, just so that it looks a little bit nicer. And now I'm going to set up a, um, I'm gonna do a, a few uh, different uh, versions of traffic lights. First, I'm gonna get uh, this uh, five section permissive left. Um, just set that up and set that up. I'm also gonna do a standard three section traffic light. I'm also gonna do a, let, let's just do a three section protected right. Just something just like that, you know. And then for direction three and four, for doesn't matter any of these two, um, these two can be the same, these two can be the same, but I'm just doing one and three just because it, it works easier for me. But for this, you do need a, uh, a, uh, excuse me, you do need this, uh, left turn track light. You also need this, um, inverted T protect the left. Okay. So, so this, you can have any kind of track light that you want for this and this, you need these specific two. So what we're going to do is that we're actually going to work on on this first before we do this because this is a lot more simpler, and we have a, we 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 be more creative with this. This it's just it takes a little bit of, of explaining. So so basically you need to have your your two traffic lights, your your left turn traffic light and your inverted T traffic light. And what you need to do is as always go into signal, go all the way down to the specific direction you're working on. Make make sure that the traffic lights are highlighted like all of them. Then you go down to the arrow. And then what you're so basically, whenever you select your traffic light that is inside the direction three, make sure that whenever you select the specific light, in this case we're just going to move the red light. Make sure that you leave the red light inside the inverted T left, just so that it can stay in contact with the signal itself. So we're not going to do anything special with this. We're just going to move it. We're not going to do anything fancy. We're just, we're just going to move it over to one spot, basically where it's as close to symmetrical as possible over the straight basically over this uh, green permissive uh, uh, signal head and then what you're going to do is that um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close this just so that it's a little bit simpler but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna open up this uh, open up the, the left turn signal then highlight or I'm going to click the uh, left turn I'm just gonna drag this over basically put this over um, now this is kind of the hard part that some of y'all may not enjoy doing, but just lining it up, make sure it looks all nice and even on all sides. Um, yep, it's not in the middle. There we go. Now that's a little bit more in the middle. So then after you move your red light, now what I do is that I go over here, I drag this red light into the inverted traffic light coating so that whenever you select this, it's not Whenever it's like the, the left turn signal, it's not highlighting the red light also, since the red light or the, le or the left arrow is already inside the inverted um, T left signal. So now what you can do in order to cl technically clean things up is that you can add the light and delete that left turn signal and that left and that left turn light is still there. 
So now, what what y'all are gonna see is um, it, it's just how a normal system is gonna go. So I'm just running it, just like so both both perspectives. So so here's base the basic traffic light. This is the main road right here. This is the side road, and they're just mining. The, it's just going its its own way. Um, remember that the, the split phase is still set or the split cycle which will work a lot better if it's like this if doing the other way it's not gonna work because um, actually I'm not sure if the um, it may or may not still work but it won't it won't be a bad idea to try out so I will try that in a little bit after this light changes and it's not gonna change usually it did change pretty quick so let me just go back into here, uh, split phasing, turn on, um, and now and then now we're 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 just gonna run it and see the magic unfold if, if it works. Sometimes the split phasing doesn't work, so I have to stop it, basically restart it, and then it'll just work on its own just fine. That's usually how it goes. Um, it should change in a little bit. Um, whenever it changes, then then we know it's it's gonna change over. Um, hmm. It normally, oh, the auto cycle phase. The auto cycle phase, that, that's what gives it. The split phasing does nothing. It's the auto cycle phase that, that basically locks up, quote unquote. Um, this is the one thing that I have trouble with this specific plugin the most is because it technically locks um, where it's basically stuck in in the non auto cycle mode where it just stays green like what you see right here and doesn't change over but it should change over there we go there we go now it's changing over so the green light it's I'm not worried about it but you're basically gonna see this happening see so right here we just we just basically got it to where it's going. The left and green are active, and then a little bit y'all are gonna see the, um, like just see the single yellow light, which um, it entices for both directions, which is very, which I which I think I, I like the aspect of it because it's just a single yellow light for, for two red and two greens. And yeah, that's the, that's the uh, complete cycle. So now what, so basically, uh, when it comes down to this, this traffic light is it can be used for like a um, like a uh, intersection where like you have a left and a straight, um, basically something like this. You know, I'll, I'll just add make it a little more even. There you go. So something like that. that that's kind of how it goes to where like there is a um, a left turn lane, a left and a straight and a straight. So just. I mean, some of y'all may have an idea on what I'm, I'm um, talking about, but this is generally how it's going to look. Or, or this is a left and a straight, and this is a straight. Or this is a left and this is a, le a left and a straight. You know, but this, it, this is kind of like the center piece where you have a left and a left straight, or a left straight and a straight, or all of it combined. So when it comes down to the split cycle, the light should change. Yep, there we go. So it's going to change, and all lights should be activated in the split cycle phase whenever it all goes green. And just like that, boom, and we're all set to green. Now, um, now we're going to ignore the fact of this left turn signal, but I do want to try something um, just, just so that y'all can see on like what I'm, what I'm thinking of in my head. So if this does work, then theoretically, so, so obviously this left turn signal is gonna go. Just, just acknowledge that this that this is already going to change the green but what I'm predicting is that this is going to stay red both the arrow and the red light is going to stay red during the um, during the uh, non split cycle phasing which I'm kind of intrigued to see um, to see if it will work out or not because if it doesn't work through this then y'all are gonna have to change the coding or something I'm still learning how to do that but with the coding ah it does change does change which d kind of does look a little awkward but um but basically what, what you can do is that you can possibly switch the lighting on this to make it look like it's um like like a flashing red arrow and right now yep see i see that that looks a little weird because yes the left arrow is still technically part of the uh, the, the left signal that it was originally with so so for reference as of right now just leave it on split phasing and then it will all work just fine 
So now, here comes the uh, basically the part of the episode where we change things up, and now we're going to talk about the smaller lights versus versus the bigger lights. Basically, a, a 12 inch light and an in or is it a 10 and 8? I, I think it's an 8 and 12 light variation, you know. So this is where things get a little bit more, excuse me, technical. So we're gonna basically collapse say, direction three because we're done with that. And now we're going to do, um, we're gonna mess around with this a little bit. So now we're, so, so we're gonna have, basically these two lights are gonna have a smaller yellow and green and this is gonna have a small red, red and yellow, um, which, is, which is kind of how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna try to make this real quick and this is literally all the same concept. It's nothing too special about it, it's the exact same thing. So, all, so all, all you have to do is just select, select your light, it does not matter, break it down, Go, go down to your yellow or green if you're doing this or yellow and green or red and yellow or whatever light that you want to do. Um, it doesn't matter any variation, but you gotta scale it down. I know I'm gonna scale down to about half the size, roughly. It's kind of hard to, um, to design a half size version um, just because it the size may vary just a little bit, but if you're but that actually that looks spot on actually like how in the world did I do that like that's literally perfect like what the heck I was not even trying and that was just beautifully perfect so after sorry sorry I, I just had to say that so after you shrink the lights what I normally do is that I try and center center them up along the um, along the pole for, for support um, just so that it kind of looks a little bit more nicer. I mean, y'all don't have to do this, but I like to do this just so that it just, like I said, looks a little more nicer. So I'm just going to adjust this up just a little bit. And just like that, oops. I need to lower the green a little bit. I'm actually going to lower the yellow arrow too because it's invading the green circle space. And we'll lower the green left because that's invading also. And boom, just like that. There you have your uh, signal. Basically, this concept is the exact same as this one, which I'm, which I told you I was going to go, which I'm probably not, because it's the exact same thing. Just imagine, basically, just don't imagine these two arrows for the same thing, and that's pretty much it. And then for, but I am going to do the uh, do this one because we're just we're just going to leave the green arrow as the same, but we're going to basically shrink the red and yellow. And y'all have an idea, probably have an idea on what this looks like. So. Scale it down to about half the size. It doesn't have to be exact, but it needs to be—it needs to be clearly smaller than um, than the original size of what you're trying to go for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do yellow, basically right there, maybe, maybe right there, um, there, yeah, yep, just like that. And then we're going to move the green arrow up. Uh, that, that may seem a little awkward uh, based on position wise but but um, if you want to you can basically work on the uh, on, on the pull hang and then scale that down and just okay I guess not because because <laughs> it's not is wanting to work on the piece maybe but um, whoops master hang is this the master hang that's it that's the master hang just like that there we go and that was able to adjust it just a little bit which looks a little bit nicer so now when we run it, so this is basically what's going to look like. So here, here's your standard, which is what we're going off of. And then boom, just like that. So you can see from the distance, a, a clear depiction on what is different. So, so you have your, your small um, LED traffic light with the green and yellow. They have your big arrow, which is, which is obvious a case of like, there's like a tight city space or something like in New York city, there's a bunch of these. Um, where it's just where it's just like a big green arrow and then just two small arrows based like near Times Square and there's just yeah they're just everywhere which helps in my opinion where like traffic needs to go you know but but this setup I actually enjoy doing um, just because I get to get a little creative with this and I get to make my own little fun traffic lights you know um, so other than that I, I hope y'all enjoy this semi quick tutorial if y'all followed along then then that, then I hope you uh, did your best in trying to um, replicate on what I did. Um, but you, but you can use this tutorial as many times as you want. Um, 
it's totally up to you and other than that I will sign out for now and I will see you on my next video please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more traffic light tutorials and Roblox studio and other than that I'll see you on, I'll, I will see you on my next video goodbye